So welcome back, my dear subscribers. Uh, now I should pronounce the the channel as uh, published in my uh, Facebook channel. That uh, it's not gonna be called Noni Riders channel anymore, but uh, more like Gonga Lab, where we we try to put uh, some serious clips about the bike problems, uh, component problems, and so on. So today in here I would like to show you that uh, there should be some serious warning about the all uh, these brakes uh, users. Uh, especially now there is a huge agenda going on about uh, road disc bikes. Uh, are they uh, safe or not? They safe because of the fork failures uh, and so on. But I would just <laughs> expose something different. Uh, based on the, all the experts who are saying that the carbon bikes can be ridden in winter time without any concern because you have no corrosion and so on. Uh, and this is the case uh, from a road bike or let's say gravel bike. Uh, if we take a look the the braking the braking uh, uh, material it's still let's say almost more than two-thirds of the thickness of the new brake pad so what happened in here is that uh, recently I was dealing with the client who lost both brakes suddenly unfortunately he, the result was not uh, tragic for him to, to get injured to get uh, some serious uh, problem uh, with the uh, to get uh, accident, uh, it was on the downhill, uh, but uh, probably, like he said, he had a big luck that uh, he jumped from the bike and kind of uh, start slowing down the bicycle uh, with his legs. So it was the right reaction. So in here we can see that the bike was uh, used uh, in winter time. Uh, of course, the condition. Uh, as I can say is all this rust that you see in here is probably the condition which is caused by the salty atmosphere salt from the any kind of surface probably mostly from the uh, from the roads and uh, of course also washing with the with the water uh, indeed and we can see that the erosion started from the back plate of the of the uh, brake pad so it could be a huge problem even if you have aluminum back plate because aluminum would oxidize uh, as well as the uh, iron uh, maybe maybe the best choice is <laughs> <laughs> from all what I'm seeing in here is if you have a stainless steel backplate, but uh, recently I don't know if there is if there is any manufacturer who would uh, uh, using the backplate material for instead of uh, iron or aluminum stainless steel uh, but we can see that what the customer I mean the client said that he was breaking when suddenly both brakes just uh, uh, reached the handlebar and there was no braking power. Uh, he just said that something was ejected out from the from the brake caliper and of course you can see uh, in here there is also a damage because before this was thrown out of the brake caliper he kind of maybe there was still a lot of uh, or enough oil in the expansion uh, fuel uh, I mean uh, tank, expansion tank uh, on the uh, brake lever that he was a little bit able to brake with the back plate that's why it's so shiny color in here but the rest of those of course they were ejected uh, out of the uh, brake calipers as well so the entire brake system was uh, not functioning uh, what we can learn from here is that uh, if you're using let's say road bike, even in winter with the disc brakes, uh, it could be a serious problem because the salt, uh, which you don't actually see it, it's a, it's a white powder, maybe the bikes look like it's a dusty, uh, uh, 
or dust it a little bit, but basically it's, let's say, dust and uh, salt powder together. When this gets behind, or let's say is sitting down on the back plate, eventually with the contact with the water, which is like you have a fuel tank and if you put the fire on or the spark, it will ignite. So this is something similar. Uh, and I would say that uh, for all the customers who are using let's, <laughs> not only mountain bikes in the winter, but it's even road bikes or gravel bikes, to have a regular check of their brake pads. Just put it out, maybe wipe with the, with the paper, maybe uh, use some uh, uh, pressurized uh, air and try to ride safe. Because this is a safety issue. You can imagine if you go from some uh, serious descent and suddenly this happens, I don't know, I, I think there is no chance that you would be able to to stop the bike with your feet, especially if there is not enough uh, straight line, uh, which normally in the mountains you have a lot of corners. Uh, so I would say that even buying the bike uh, for winter, let's say that you're using uh, disc brakes, uh, I would put uh, at high risk. I would rather use the rim brake uh, bike for winter uh, winter uh, conditions even if there is there is a little bit snow if there is a little bit icy road it doesn't matter that modulation that you have uh, let's what people are saying and then pricing so high uh, having a good modulation on your levers if you have br uh, these brakes on the road bike i think that could be just kind of uh, spare thought uh, about what people are marketing I think the most uh, safe part is that something like this on the rim brakes, it cannot happen. Uh, that it would eject the rubber pads out of, because you have a shell and all the brakes, uh, brake pads goes out from uh, backwards when you uh, change it. So hope you get something uh, from this clip and see you soon. Take care. Bye.